presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, how to set up a USB to MIDI cable to control lights with ProPresenter. And this one's just for the Mac. Hi and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you've ever wanted to be able to uh, cull down the number of people that uh, you need to run an event and uh, are hoping that you could have one person run both ProPresenter and Lights, give me a thumbs up. Or if you're just curious for the future, go ahead, like, subscribe, etc. So this is one of the most powerful things within ProPresenter is that you can use it to control other things and actually vice versa. But today I'm just going to talk about controlling other things like a lighting console with a USB to MIDI cable in ProPresenter. So without further ado, let's head over to my computer and take a look at just the different things you need to set up. So first, here we are in uh, ProPresenter. And um, before we even get here, we need something. And let me actually hold it up. Uh, it's not actually in the box because I'm using it. But uh, here's a better picture of it. It's the Roland UM1 USB MIDI interface. Now I'm going to here in just a second show you that link on Amazon where you can pick it up. I'll leave a link below the video so that you can pick it up there as well. That is an affiliate link but uh, it doesn't cost you anything else and helps me do these. So with that said you can um, Plug this into your Mac using a, a USB to um, MIDI, or this is a USB to MIDI adapter, but you might need a USB 2 or USB 3 to um, USB C adapter, just depending on which Mac you're using. But anyway, I will say I've been using this for. A long time and it seems to work really well so back over here let me show you what it looks like over here on Amazon so it's just got the old-fashioned uh, USB connection there and then it's got two MIDI connections here now um, I should caution you this is the second one I've bought not the second Roland UM one but the second USB to MIDI adapter that I bought the first one didn't work at all Plugged it in, nothing, 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 nothing. I troubleshot, did everything I could, took a break from it, came back, did that so long that I couldn't return it to Amazon. So I just recently just threw it away. Um, you'll see that when I actually ordered this was August of 2017. So it's been a while um, that I've used this and it hasn't let me down yet. So. That's the first thing that you'll need. I'll leave a link uh, so that you can get that. And you would use this if your lighting console takes MIDI directly. So if it has uh, a port where you can plug that in, then by all means, that's the one that I would have you use. Okay? So that's the first thing. Once you plug that in, then you're going to need to go to... Uh, audio MIDI setup which looks like this um, here let me minimize this guy right now what I always do is I always do the command space since we're on uh, a Mac and do audio MIDI setup and audio MIDI setup is this thing it's included in Mac OS so you should have it now, when it pops up, it's not going to look like that. It's going to look either here, like, let's just give it a name. I'm going to just go with today's date that I'm recording this. So give it just a second here, and it'll look like this. Now, this is assuming you've already got your UM1 plugged into the computer, and that's good. Um, you may not see MIDI Studio here, so you may need to go over here and uh, click 
this would say show MIDI studio. So I'm going to click hide it just so that you can see it and go to show MIDI studio. Okay. And there that is. Now we're going to need to add a device to connect the UM12. So that is, let's see, add external device. So do that. It looks like a keyboard. Just ignore that. Uh, it thinks that you would probably want to hook this up to a keyboard to talk to it via MIDI. Don't worry about that. So we need to go out of the UM1 into this device and then uh, out of this device into the UM1. Although this connection really isn't all that necessary, but we're going to do both anyway. So I'm just going to click, drag until this highlights and let it go. And then do the same thing over here. And that highlights and let it go. Okay, so now it is good to go. Um, this is actually the one I'm using currently. We'll let that load, and that's ready to go. Now, I can quit out of this if I wanted to, but now I'm going to go into ProPresenter, and the first thing I'm going to do is go to ProPresenter, then Preferences, and then Devices. So you'll notice that I've already... Uh, added a MIDI device, but basically you just click on the plus here, select MIDI, and then give it a name if you want, or just leave it as MIDI if that's the only one you're going to use it with. Core MIDI device is what you need to select device, and then check UM1 and UM1. So sources and destinations, that's good. Also, you want to check Reconnect. And once you've done that, you can go to Back here and then Connect right here, and then it should look like this. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and delete this right here because that's not the one that I've got connected and working. So there we go. Now you've got a couple of options. What you can do is you can either add a MIDI note on each slide using an action. So let's go down here. Let's say we're in Amazing Grace, and I'm going to right-click and go to Add Action. Then under Communication, we have MIDI, and MIDI Note On is what we want. And then it's going to ask for what MIDI channel, and you would probably set that up in your lighting console and then which MIDI note either it should tell you uh, the actual note or the number of the note and then we need to change the intensity to something other than zero. First time I did this I didn't know to do that and it never worked and I couldn't figure out why it never worked but as it turns out the reason it did, never worked is because I had the intensity on zero which is like completely quiet. Remember MIDI was originally a way for electronic music to communicate with computers so that would be a note that is off. So you need to select something other than that let's say 15 just to be sure I usually uh, go all the way down to 127 but Really, I think it'll work any of those numbers, 1 to 127, just as long as it is not 0. Okay? So now, when I click on this, notice that I've got this little icon. That will send that MIDI note. But, what if you need to do this over and over again? You want uh, different MIDI notes to happen at different times. Well, you'll notice that over here under macros I've got a couple set up so uh, what I did was I click the add macro and here let me hide myself and let's call this um, desk toggle and I have um, 
basically three scenes that I use all the time. I have one for my set, which you're looking at, you know, when I'm over here. When you're looking at me, you're looking at my lights set to toggle on through my lighting controller, which is just an elation little bitty lighting controller. Uh, it's probably one of the first that a lot of smaller churches use. Um, so anyway, that I asked if someone had one that they wanted to sell me and someone had one that they weren't using anymore and they just sent it to me. So that was very kind of them. Um, so that's the one that I'm using going out from the USB device into the uh, lighting console. And so I had to look up what note did what. So let's bring up Adobe Acrobat Reader here. Drag that over. This is the information for my um, Alation DMX operator. I couldn't remember what particular DMX or uh, what particular lighting console I had before, but it is the DMX operator. So first off, look at this and um, I want you to first off to see how to activate it. In this particular one, I have to press and hold the MIDI record button for three seconds, it blinks, and then it has two numbers and that tells me what channel. If I hadn't ever set this whatsoever, it would probably just be on channel one. So, um, or if I've got things that are interfering, I might want to go to a different channel. Okay, so that's that. Using the up and down buttons, I would select the appropriate channel, then I uh, press and hold it again, and now it's on. So now this tells me what I want to do. So if I want to do bank one, um, and then um, number one through eight is zero through seven. Bank two is uh, numbers, note number eight through 15. And down here it says blackout is 126. So I could have any of these banks show up with uh, any of their individual um, setups there, or I could just do 126 to do a blackout. So let's actually do that. We're going to go back over here to ProPresenter and hide myself here. And um, I'm going to rename that to blackout just because I know off the top of my head what that is. It's going to be the same as this, but I just want to show you what that is. And now I can right click and just like before, I can add an action, communication, MIDI, note on. And remember, channel one is what I had it set up. Note, notice it says C2 and then zero. The thing in parentheses is what I need to know in with uh, the DMX operator. So I'm going to scroll down here to 126 right here. And remember, I need to set my intensity to something other than 0, 127, just to be sure. And now, if I show you this, I'm just going to click on it. It's down here, so it's hard to see. But I want to show you that my lights go off. So we click here. And for some reason, the lights didn't go off. But right here, they should. Okay, so if it doesn't work for you, one thing that you may need to do is you may need to quit ProPresenter, turn it back on. Um, 
Another thing that you might need to check is make sure you don't have multiple setups, etc. I actually just did that. I cut all that out so that you wouldn't have to see it. But now if you, if we click on this, or is it, yep, yeah, there we go. Then it went away. And if we click on it again, it does come back. So that's a cool little thing. Now, another troubleshooting step is uh, if you're running into a problem where one doesn't seem to work, make sure you can click here under edit. So that is devices MIDI, MIDI note on channel one, 126 and 127. And if I look here, Edit MIDI note on. Oh. Make sure that that works. Yep. So here's why it wasn't working is for some reason it didn't take that I was on uh, 126 and intensity 127. Okay. So let's try that again. Okay, so now that is in fact working. Um, I didn't have the camera shown, so here it is. You can see how dark it is, and now it's back on. And so that's what's going on. Also, on the UM1, there are some LEDs, so you should see the LEDs blink when you send the note. If you see that, then you know that Everything is right in the configuration up to the lighting console. If, um, and by the way, you need to connect the out of the UM1 into the in of the lighting console and vice versa. If it has an out of the um, lighting console, like the DMX operator, for example, the one that I'm using, does not have an out so i don't have that connected whatsoever but you could plug that in and then um, you'd have two-way communication there but in this case it's just i'm sending from pro presenter out to my dmx operator and not coming back in so i only have one-way control but it is possible with other devices to control ProPresenter, and we'll talk about that in a future lesson. If you like this content, you'd probably like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, so head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number 7, quick, and give me your name and email address so that I can make a login for you, and you can take that class for free just whenever you want. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.